वेलकम व्यूअर्स दिस इज ग्रीन गाय टैरो एंड दिस इज योर नेक्स्ट सेवन डेज टेरो प्रडिक्शन पिक अकाउट रीडिंग सो टेक अ डीप ब्रेथ सिलेक्ट योर ऑप्शन फ्रॉम पायल नंबर वन टू एंड थ्री एंड वी विल स्टार्ट द रीडिंग फ्रॉम पायल नंबर वन वेलकम पायल नंबर वन दिस इज योर नेक्स्ट सेवन डेज टेरो प्रडिक्शन पिक अकाउट रीडिंग लेट्स बिगिन द रीडिंग विद द टेरो देन विल फॉलो योर ऑर्कल कार्ड्स पायल नंबर वन योर फर्स्ट कार्ड इज एज ऑफ कप्स Next you have the Knight of Wands. Then you have the Three of Swords. Next you have the Six of Cups. And the final card is the Eight of Cups. Okay. Pile number one. With the Ace of Cup, you are beginning the week, so there will be opportunities coming in. abundance prosperity is there new beginnings are prominent that can be some sort of creative project that you are starting that can be work that can be relationships also your next card is the knight of wands so you are definitely moving forward you are very much driven and passionate to move forward but you need to be mindful that knight of wands energies are often diverted so you need to have the focus and persistence your next card is the three of swords this is the card that tells me that there will be some sort of disappointment coming in regarding some messages probably this can also be some this can also be something that is disappointing and you are going to know about it previously you didn't know now you get to know it and it is some sort of heartache or pain and with all the cup cards i can tell it can definitely be related to your heart situations but it can be anything my advice just don't be stuck there because the very next card is the six of cups This is the card that tells about someone or something coming back into your life that is going to bring in joy and prosperity. This is the second chance that you have waited and prayed for, but somehow you have the doubt it might come or not, but it is here. And it is something if this is a person, this relationship is some sort of past life relationship. or you knew that person in the past but somehow lost in lost touch and now they are here in your life if this is a second chance this is going to be something that is going to bring in good luck good fortune for you your next card is the 8 of cups this is the card that tells me that you are no longer being stuck in those disappointment and still situations where you were just disappointed and hurt you are moving forward towards new path this can definitely be something that is spiritual to you some sort of spiritual growth spiritual awakening probably happening for you or this can definitely be you deciding to self care self nurture self love path or you can definitely decide upon some sort of new path for your work for your relationships also so pile number 1 that was the tarot let's see what we have for you in the oracle cards okay your first card is koi fish spirit there is always enough this is the good luck good fortune card for you we all know koi fish are the lucky koi's so there will be good luck and good fortune coming in so whatever disappointment might come you are going to overcome it your next card is unfinished symphony this is the card that tells you to prioritize all the dues that you have pending work spending conversations it is time to attend them if there was too much under the rugs take them out work on them throw them out move forward your final card is stealth this is the card that tells me that you need to blend in 
and not stand out in this week. Be very much strategic and watchful because there will be situation that needs you to do so. Some sort of planning is very much needed and being or practicing your work in silence not sharing your ideas with many is something that is going to be beneficial for you so pile number one this was your next seven days tarot prediction reading if you like my reading please hit the like button don't forget to share subscribe and comment thank you very much for your participation have a great week ahead welcome pile number two this is your next seven days tarot prediction pick a card reading let's start the reading with the tarot then we'll follow your oracle cards pile number two your first card is nine of pentacles next you have the eight of pentacles then you have the high priestess next you have the moon card then you have the ten of cups and one card extra you got that is the ace of swords okay pile number two smooth beautiful strong abundant week the first card is the nine of pentacles there will be empowerment wealth knowledge better say wisdom you are beaming with prosperity light and abundance the light is for knowledge so you are someone who can do it all and you are moving forward the very next card is the eight of pentacles this is the card that tells me that you are definitely working really hard to build your future you are not losing a second of your time for anything other than concentrating on your future your next card is the High Priestess. This is the card that tells me the knowledge that you possess. The required knowledge to pursue anything and everything that you desire is there for you. And you know when to speak, when to not speak. And you are definitely not sharing your plans and thoughts with everyone. Because you know that not everyone around you can understand or support or appreciate them your next card is a moon card this is the card that tells about not knowing though you have knowledge still there are some things that you might not know and you need to know them your loyal friends are there with you the path ahead is calling you with new and innovative ideas you can move forward for sure follow your intuition and your creativity your next card is the Ten of Cups, the ultimate abundance, prosperity, wealth, commitment card. Happy family is there also. So all the good things are definitely going to be there. You are going to enjoy life to the fullest. Your final card is the Ace of Swords. This is the card that is telling me whatever you didn't know previously with the Moon card, you are going to have the knowledge the information the communication that you require that you previously didn't have now you have it all and there will be more opportunities coming in for you to move forward so pile number two next seven days are looking really good for you let's see what we have for you in the tarot sorry in the oracle your first card is fox spirit think on your feet Quick thinking is needed probably there will be situation that was sudden or sudden changes of plans will be there so you need to think fast and act accordingly your next card is new life with the new life and ten of cups I can tell some of you are pursuing your love life and you are taking it to the next level for others this can definitely be something new that is going to take you to your better and prosperous days your final card is kindness so this is the card that tells you to practice kindness and I always tell that be kind to yourself first we are the worst critic of ourselves you need to be kind to yourself as well as to others 
and being kind is meaning being generous with the ten of cups with the nine of pentacles i can tell you there will be plenty of wealth or material positions in your life and it is the high time for you to be generous and show kindness to others so pile number two that was your next seven days to prediction reading if you like my reading please hit the like button don't forget to share subscribe and comment thank you very much for your participation have a great week ahead welcome pile number three this is your next seven days tarot prediction reading let's start the reading with the tarot then we'll follow your oracle cards pile number three your first card is five of acorns that is the five of wands challenge and growth your next card is knight of acorns the knight of wands action and drive then you have the major arcana the sun card vitality and joy Next, you have the Three of Acorns, the Three of Wands, Foresight, Exploration. And the final card is the High Priestess, Intuition, Sacred Knowledge. So, pile number three. This is going to be a very fiery week for you. What does that mean? That means that you are very much driven. You are creative. You are on the go, go, go. You just want to move forward. But... With the first card being the five of wands i have to tell you be calm because there will be some conflicts happening some challenges coming in and you need to definitely handle them with a very mindful energy because by handling those situations you are going to grow to your higher self and you will be able to pursue your better future your very next card is the knight of wands this is the card that tells about you being in charge and you are moving forward with very creative mind and very enthusiastic approach towards your future but you need to be mindful about this energies persistence because Knight of Wands is someone who can often lose interest. So that can definitely divert you from your path ahead. Your next card is a Sun card. This is the card of ultimate blessings. Good fortune, abundance, prosperity, new beginning. For some of you, this can definitely bring in a good news of childbirth. There will be opportunities coming in for you to grow to prosper. Your next card is a three of wands. This is the card that tells that you are ready with all those blessings and all those abundant opportunities. You are venturing forward. You are connecting to some people or some projects that is far from you that can be foreign land. This can also indicate you finding a long distance relationship and it is the time when you are moving forward towards those distant places situations because you know it is time for you to explore your options your next card is the high priestess intuition sacred knowledge this is the card that tells me that you are very intuitive you have all the knowledge that you need and you are not showing your cards to anyone you are keeping things to yourself because not everyone can appreciate them and not everyone can understand them and some of them might sabotage, try to sabotage your situations. So keeping things to yourself is something that you are going to do. So pile number three, that was the tarot for you. Let's see what we have for you in the oracle cards. Your first card is Buffalo Spirit. The abundant universe will provide. So blessings are pouring in. There will be so much good luck, good fortune happening for you in this week. You won't just be able to understand how this can happen. But this is happening because it is universe and it is the blessings. Your next card is again Treasure Island. Something big is coming. Pile number three. That can be an offer for a job. That can be 
something that was due and it is the time when your good karma is paying you the visit your next card is the strength card this is the card that tells that good fortune good health is definitely there and you are definitely thriving and getting towards better days so pile number three this was next seven days tarot prediction reading for you if you like my reading please hit the like button don't forget to share subscribe and comment thank you very much for your participation have a great week ahead viewers this was your next seven days tarot prediction reading if you like my reading please hit the like button don't forget to share subscribe and comment thank you very much for your participation have a great week ahead